Hello, everybody. So recently at the shop, we got this super clean NSX come in and it had no clutch pedal pressure. And the customer thought that maybe something wrong was wrong with the clutch slave cylinder. So we brought it here for diagnosis and uh, I'm gonna take you guys through that right now. So this thing is insanely clean. It has less than 10,000 miles and it's over 20 years old. I don't really see too many of these too often, but every now and then we'll get them at our shop. And, uh, yeah, as you can see here, this clutch fluid level looks normal, even though it's kind of milky looking. And now uh, looking underneath the uh, engine, you can see there's what looks like clutch fluid down here, probably dripping from that slave cylinder, which is why the customer thought this was leaking. So we're gonna take a closer look at this on the lift. So after putting it on the lift, looking up above that shift cable cover there, you can see there's fluid leaking out the back here. And then I uh, slowly pan here to look at this soft line that connects to the body. Because a lot, a lot of the time this line likes to rupture, but this one looks good. So this is pretty textbook. It's a bad slave. So here I clamped the clutch line so it doesn't leak. And uh, we're going to pull this off right now. It's pretty tight quarters working on these NSXs from the bottom like this. So you'll see here in a sec, I moved this clamp because it's in the way. So I had a bit of a hard time getting the line out of that clutch slave and I ended up having to do it off camera because it was not coming out. I had to keep twisting it back and forth and eventually it kind of gave break loose, broke loose and then it came off. But in uh, reassembly, the line just slid right in because the new one obviously brand new, no corrosion on the inside. There I got the new clutch slave. It's pretty easy. The line goes in here with two 10, 10 millimeter bolts, and then it's held onto the transmission with two 12 millimeter bolts. So I unbolted this bottom shift linkage cover just to get more room to uh, work on getting the hose out of the old one because it's kind of corroded and it was kind of stuck, but I finally got it out. There's a new one, new one's going back in. There's the bleeder set up. So I'm just gonna pump the pedal and I'm gonna leave it on the floor and come and close this and we'll check the pressure. This process basically involves me running up to the front of the car, filling the clutch reservoir then going to the pedal, pumping it multiple times, like a lot, like 10 to 15 minutes worth of pumping and then coming back here and closing that bleeder and then testing the pressure. And here you can see it's finally starting to move some fluid with a lot of bubbles. 
and after probably another 30 minutes worth of pumping uh, we finally got all the air bled out of this thing and it was ready for a test drive. All right, I think I finally got this thing bled. It's fired up. Whoops. So, I'm first I can shift. That's good. Let's see if we can move. Yep, we're moving. Let's take this thing for a test drive. That's good. Power shifts are good, slow shifts are good, this thing's solid. So in the beginning of this video, I said I almost never see these cars, they come very rarely. And then literally the next day, another one shows up. And it was really clean, it was kind of heavily modified, but it was pretty clean. And then a week later, another one shows up. This one came in for some cooling system work, uh, we changed the radiator and did every single hose, which was a ton of work. And uh, this one's got a supercharger and it is insanely loud. And uh, I'll let you hear that right now. So thanks for joining me on another episode. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, you know, do the drill. Thanks. See you later.